Bugfest is back at the Academy of Natural Sciences this weekend. This year's event is a hybrid version with both in-person activities and virtual programs. And this morning, we're bringing the creepy, crawly critters here to you on Philly Live. Karen Verderami is the Academy Animal Programs developer and lead organizer of the annual festival. Karen, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having us. Yes, we are so excited to have you. Now, before we meet the friends that you brought with you today, first, just tell us what we can expect for Bugfest this year. Bugfest is our longest running festival. This will be our 14th one, and we're so happy to be back in person this year. We were hot, we were virtual last year. We still pulled it off. It's going to look a little different from our other Bugfest in previous years. We've had to scale back some of our tables and things, but you will still have full access to our entomologist. You will still get to see a lot of the behind-the-scenes entomological displays that are world-renowned, nice. and of course, everyone's favorite, you'll still get to see our live bugs. We'll have <laughs> stage shows running Friday, Saturday, and Sunday featuring all our live bugs. We'll have live bugs on display and you can always catch a pop-up infestation where you can meet one of our scientists and entomologists as well as meet some of our live bugs. Wow. And we have a preview of one of those live stage shows, if you will, here yes. today. Tell us who you brought with you. I have a little sampling of all. <laughs> I have an arachnid that is part of the arthropod world. This is a vinegar rune, which is found in the southwest United States. And it wow. gets its name because it's not a true scorpion. It doesn't have a stinger, but it has this hair-like structure, and when it's threatened, it can wave that around, and it sprays like a vinegar smell. Oh, get out. Yeah, <laughs> and it smells just like vinegar like you would have on your salads, but if you were a predator and you're coming up to eat it, it would whip that around, and you get it in your face. It would burn your eyes, taste bad, and then our vinegar room can stick out all the safety. And it's really fascinating because this bug here can't see. It has no sight. Right. It just sees like shadowy light changes. That's it. It has eight eyes. They're very small, smaller than pinheads, so these these elongated legs here, they're actually legs, they're kind of like feelers, help him find his way around, mm. and very sensitive to vibration, because this is also a predator. It does eat small insects like crickets and things. Gotcha. It will eat anything smaller than itself. Wow. Well, on the sweeter side of the bug world, you have some banana slugs. Banana slugs, <laughs> yes. Not to be too confused with the fruit, although that is what they're <laughs> named for. My vinegaroon friend's going to hang out with us. Hang out. So let's hang out. So this is a banana slug. These are found in the western United United States, and they are among the largest slugs found in the United States. Wow, they're pretty huge, too. Now, these are not arthropods. They don't wear their bones on the outside, but we often lump slugs, snails as bugs, mm -hmm. right? So we include them in Bug Fest, and these are misunderstood, fascinating creatures. Some gardens can be, a some slugs can be a pest in your garden, but these slugs actually will eat the other slugs that are more pests wow. to your garden. So they're important decomposers, like so many invertebrates in the world, like cockroaches and millipedes, they're all friends to our garden, helping breaking down that mm. dead material and new stuff to grow. And it, it loves, it, as sweet as the name, it also loves eating sweets too. It's eating an apple right now. Can it, we hold it up a little higher so can. folks at home can see? So they have, I'm, I have a glove on because handling it can harm its slime. It wants oh. that slime, so I have this nice wet glove on. But they have a very, very thick slime that helps them move around. It's a mollusk, so this is like a clam or uh, a scallop. Erin, this is all so fascinating, so cool. I'm, I'm surprised that I wasn't freaking out a little bit more. <laughs> you made you made me feel, you know, right at home with these oh, bugs, so I guess. And so. that's the whole point of Bug Fest, yes. to, to get to know these movers and shakers of the world, because we wouldn't exist without them. That is very true. Once again, Bug Fest kicks off tomorrow and runs through Sunday. It's happening online and at the Academy of Natural Sciences at Drexel University in Center City, Philadelphia. You can get more details in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC. 10 app. Karen Veterami, thank you so much. Thank you for being so much here this for morning. having us.